with no intentions of ever being on television or, you know, I didn't move to LA. I actually moved to Malibu at first. And it was more, um, I had a job that was um, giving me a relocation fee and moving me. And I wasn't really doing anything. I wasn't in a relationship. I didn't have really a lot going on in New York except that I was helping launch a private label. And I met a mutual friend that was going to launch a private label for scarves and ties and silk. And I've always had some sort of like fashion sense and I enjoy fashion. So I was like, oh, here's my outlet. Like yeah. I can start mm -hmm. really working and digging into like colors and patterns and understanding yeah. it all. Um, so how long have you been working in the club scene and uh, how, you said earlier how you got involved. So how long? You, you uh, yeah, right out of college. So right about when I was 22 and I'm 30 now. So do the math. Um, and it's just been something that, even when I tried to get out of it, it's just my natural, mm -hmm. like I have a natural knack for it. So for me, when I tried to stop for a little while, even when I first started dating Billy, um, I didn't want to. Like I, I like mm -hmm. that energy, I like that late night, I have that, you know, I have that rock and roll energy. I like yeah. to stay up late, I like, you know, being out and about. I feel like I left, I was left out for nine months when I stopped doing it. So I've been doing it consistently since I was 22. I had met Billy a year before, but we had no contact. I just met him at an after party because I'm a VIP director as well. I do doors mm -hmm. at nightclubs, which you guys probably know was on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do Playhouse Nightclub. So I was doing that in New York City, and that's how I met Billy. And so when I was doing this job transfer, it just so happened that I ran into a mutual friend, and we were out one night in New York City, and I was like, Whatever happened to that Billy Duffy guy? I was like, he was so interesting. He was so English and, mm -hmm. and very cool. I was like, where is he? He's like, oh, I have his number. And I'm like, oh, I'm sure he'd remember me, but no big deal. You can text him, maybe say, AJ says hi, see if he remembers. Yeah. But there was no romance. It was just friendship when I first met him. And I didn't see him, like I said, for a year later. And so he texts to him. And Billy is like, wow, this is crazy. I've been looking for her. Wow. So um, he got a hold of me, but I, you know, I was like drinking a lot in New York. So <laughs> I remembered him leaving a message. It was like, blah, 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 English accent. Uh, yeah, and I deleted it. But he called me from a private number. So I couldn't return his call. Yeah. So he called me again from a private number and I deleted the message. Like in my drunk state, I delete messages, I guess. But he <laughs> should have left a phone number, yeah, but he right. didn't. He, he did. called from a private number. So anyway, Finally, he calls back the person that I said. His name's Del James. He actually manages with Axel Rose. And Del's like, what are you doing? Billy's called you twice. Like, you haven't returned his call. I'm like, tell him to stop calling me from an unknown number. I delete his message, and I don't have his phone number. So we finally got a hold of each other, and we're talking on the phone. And he's like, uh, where are you? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm living in New York. He's like, well, I'm on tour. Would you like to come on tour and get to know me? Or, and I was like, this is our first phone conversation. And I was like, let me call you back. So I called Dell, our friend. I'm like, who is this guy? Am I just like, he thinks I'm just going to go on tour with him? Like, I'm not this girl. Yeah. I'm like, I'm moving to LA in a couple weeks. I've got to get organized. And Dell's like, he lives in LA. And I was like, really? So I called him back. I'm like, you live in LA? He's like, yeah, I've lived there for like 20 years on and off. I have a house out there. And I was like, oh, well, I'm moving to LA in two weeks. And he's like, well, I have to go visit my daughter. I'm on tour right now, but I'm going to take a couple days off to go see her. Why don't I take you out and show you around town when you get there? And I was like, all right, oh. long story short, I stayed with Billy. My life's kind of just taken off yeah. in a whole different direction Seriously. that I ever thought mm -hmm. I was going to be in. You, you had this public breakup on TV. I like, know. How was it like, did you watch it back? Did you, did you I watched didn't... it with the producers and they felt uh, like they were just watching me. Oh my God. Yeah, it was hard to watch. Yeah. Like, you could oh. feel I was like, turn, hold on, and... stop for a second. I was like, stop. Like, I can't. Like, it doesn't get any more raw. Like, yeah, most people no. don't get to watch their breakup. No. And when you saw that scene, we filmed for four hours. They edited that down. Our ca mm. poor cameraman, Bruce, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, he, like it was really intense filming because yeah. it was standing still and you don't want to interrupt. Or, it was very, like, intense. Mm -hmm. And nobody in the room, we, like, blocked everybody out because I was like, this is it. This is where we're talking and this is what we're doing. And he didn't really have a choice. I was like... We signed up for this, and we're not working. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend to be lovey-dovey with you. So I wanted to really give it all, and we did. We filmed for four hours, and it was tough. I don't even think Billy's watched it. I don't think he can, but I, I also I liked it because I think it showed a little bit more of his vulnerable side because mm -hmm. he's been so strong and cold, mm -hmm. and I don't want to get married. And he was like, you know, stay, and he really did ask me to stay. and and. I mean, I didn't talk to him after the camera stopped rolling, but he definitely texted me and was like, this isn't like it. 
Like, I can't have that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it was therapy for us. From that, and we know how season one ended. Yeah. Can you give us any, I mean, you are on tour with him right now, or you yeah, were I was. recently. So, um, is it safe to say we're, we're back together? Well, or is it's, it like... it's safe to say as um, it wasn't working not being together. It was yeah. a really hard point in my life because I was still filming. We were kind of rapping, and he was on tour, and I hadn't seen him. So we took about a month off of not seeing each other after filming, and I wasn't really talking to him. Like, as at that conversation that you saw when I was in Houston on yeah. episode eight, mm -hmm. that was our breakup. I didn't yeah. talk to him before I showed up, and I didn't talk to him after. And he was sending me texts like, I'm coming to your room, where are you staying? And I didn't, I shut my phone, I went to bed, and I flew wow. back to Houston that following morning, and we cut it. While we're working things out, it's hard because moving out is definitely a step backwards, and I always said that to him. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that we both need to work on, but especially him, of course. But no, <laughs> there's a lot that we need to work on yeah. in order to get our lives back aligned and living together. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's funny because as you guys saw in episode one, I have so much about marriage and life and proposal and blah, 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 kids. And what I've realized is that step, taking a step back um, I want it all to be a lot more natural. Mm -hmm. I want it to be, I don't even yeah. talk about relationship with him. I just talk to him, keep in touch with him. And obviously if we're trying to make things work out, I need to go on tour. I can't be away, mm -hmm. you know, I'm yeah. not seeing him for a month. Like that's not going to work. Yeah. So I had, I was able to take some time off at Playhouse Nightclub and it took about 25 days off and went on tour, which was really, really good for us. It, it brought us back to the beginning. Lisa Gastineau and Brittany Gastineau, dear friends of mine who were actually on episode 8. Yeah, I remember They looked them. after me, and after that whole breakup thing, they gave me this. And uh, their jewelry line's Trey Glam Jewelry. Okay. And they're in the Sunset Marquee, actually, right now for the Grammys oh. selling. Oh, cool. And uh, this is really, ever since I've put this on, everything's changed. It's really good luck. That's but yeah, Trey Glam, and it's Lisa and Brittany Gastineau.